viewers you are welcome to well-being call this is lola i'm a pharmacist a nutritional therapist and a well-being coach so this is the fifth recording in the series practical steps to boosting your energy and today's topic is stress it's such a huge topic it's everywhere it's like a buzzword and um it truly is everywhere because when you think about it there are a lot of illnesses a lot of diseases you know when they um, when people talk about the causes stress will be in there somewhere stress will be one of the things you know in there somewhere as one of the causes of this illness or that illness and and yeah it goes on and on so stress has far reaching consequences so that's why it's important to recognize it and do something about it so first i'll be talking about uh, exactly how our body responds to stress what happens when we're stressed and then the different areas of our lives where we potentially would usually experience stress so first off when we experience a stressful situation for example we see something frightening or someone actually frightens us as a joke for example someone screams all of a sudden behind you and you jump like out of your skin you know that is stress and the stress response kicks in straight away or you're about to give a speech public speaking or you're about to go in for an interview or an exam or do something new that you've never done before yes the stress response kicks in so and that entails the release of hormones in your body so first of all the immediate thing is your eyes or your brain transmits the information and your brain computes that information as a threat for example through your eyes you would see that there is a dangerous animal approaching and that immediately transmits to your brain danger 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 and you know your brain's job is to protect you the body responds to protect you straight away so danger and that transmits to the brain the brain releases chemicals and hormones which releases other hormones and which then releases the stress hormone so on the other hand your 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 brain your mind can also compute danger for example your boss at work makes a statement and you immediately interpret that as a threat your brain interprets it the hormones get released the second set of hormones get released and that is it the stress response kicks in so that those those are two scenarios and there are three key stress hormones that get really gets released when we feel threatened the physically or mentally or psychologically and those three hormones are cortisol adrenaline and no adrenaline that's cortisol adrenaline and no adrenaline a lot of people will call these stress hormones well that's that's typically what it's generally called stress hormones but the point is though these hormones they they're really important for existence they're important for our survival so when it gets too much that's when there's a problem so too much of everything as they say 
is not good for you. So it has to be released in the right amount. And it has to be processed and passed through the body in, in, in good time, basically. You don't want it to be consistently there at the same level all the time. So the stress response, what then happens when these hormones get released is that your heart rate goes up, your blood pressure goes up, glucose is released from your muzzle, because if you think about it, the immediate thing that your body wants to do is to run away, run away from this dangerous animal, from this monster that you sighted in the bushes. So you need glucose into your muscles straight away to help your muscles to move really fast. Your heart rate goes up so that blood is pumping right quickly through your body you're breathing faster you need the oxygen to get to your muscles really quickly to get you speeding away really fast from danger and whilst all of that is happening your body is preparing itself for the flight what's happening also in the background is that your digestive system slows down because your, your body doesn't need your digestive system to flee at that point in time. Your reproductive system slows down. Your body doesn't need your reproductive system to flee at that point. So, once the danger is over, then everything reverts to normal. Your heart rate slows back down to normal. Your blood pressure goes down your blood sugar level goes down. Everything goes back to normal, your digestive system, your reproductive system. Immediately the danger is over and you've calmed down. You would even feel your heart rate dropping and you will begin to feel calmer because now you feel safer. Now, when it comes to, so that's the flight, fight or flight response when it comes to chronic stress it's a different ball game because chronic stress means prolonged stress ongoing for weeks for months for years sometimes and this can just be from everyday stress being stuck in the traffic uh, being shouted at um, in, in, in traffic, road rage, could be at work, it could be an ongoing issue at home, it could be because of a child, a family member is unwell, it could be a whole load of things, because that's life, that's just part of life, but it creates stress. So, knowing that this is an ongoing part of life and some of these things can be stressful. Our response to each of these situations is so key. So what is your perspective on issues when they arise? What is your perspective? What is your reaction? How do you choose to react when a situation arises that could potentially be stressful that is important I think that is the first important thing to think about how would I want my response to be when stressful situations arise how do I control my response how do I have a different perspective and that will go a long way to helping to control your stress level so now what I would like to talk about is just a breakdown of the areas in your life where day-to-day -day stresses can come up. Now, after looking at that breakdown, after noting that breakdown, then it's well worth creating a table. And one side is for controllable stress. 
the other side uncontrollable stress so things you absolutely can do nothing about because it's not in your control that's what the other side will be for so this is just a breakdown just a just a broad breakdown of those aspects of life where you could potentially experience stress and to look at those areas and decide which of them is actually giving you the most stress at the moment so this exercise is just looking at your stressors what are your stressors and make a note of them then if you've pinpointed that your job is one of your stressors right put it as something that you have control over because it's your job right you signed up for the job you have control over that to a large degree so but honing on what exactly about the job is stressing you and that would be where to start to look for a solution to the stress in this job and to do the same for every point on the every aspect of your life on there and hone in on what exactly in this area is stressing me so I'm gonna end this video by saying yes look really critically there are two ways of, of, of dealing with stress look at your stressors do something about the ones you can do something about and then the other aspect which i will cover in the next video is about ways of actually then managing your stress actually how to manage the effects of stress on your body thank you for listening please subscribe if you haven't please leave a comment thank you and i'll see you in the next video Bye-bye.